Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor with Simply Vegas. Today, we'll be checking out a quick moving home in the community of Casino Ranch by Tour Brothers in the southwest of Las Vegas, Nevada. The community of Casino Ranch is located in the southwest portion of the Las Vegas Valley. The major crossroads are South Buffalo Drive and West Pebble Road. Casino Ranch is a gated community that will feature 36 homes. The HOA is $130 per month and there are no SIDS or LIDS. This big home that we'll be featuring today is the last home for sale in this community. The lot sizes will range between 20,165 square feet to 28,723 square feet, with the average lot size being 22,000 square feet. The nearby amenities include the upcoming Durango Station Casino Resort and Spa, the James Regional Sports Park, Exploration Peak Park, and Cowabunga Canyon Water Park. If it's your first time here, please consider taking a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. This quick move-in home was built in 2002 and features 3,451 square feet, sits on a 20,038 square foot lot, it has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a three car garage. On the left side of your home, we have your hose bib, gas meter, and your transformer panel. This floor plan is the Royal Floor Plan. If you take a look at the roof, you'll notice that it's not your traditional tile roofing. Instead, this community uses slate roofing. At the front of your home is a parcel locker. This is very useful for your packages. Not only does it record video, it can also speak through this as well. It's very similar to a ring camera, but it will keep your packages secure. At the front of your home, we have a tile on the facade and a covered porch area with 12 foot ceilings. Next to your outlet. And on the top left hand corner, we have a security camera pre wire. This home will feature 12 foot ceilings throughout and 10 foot ceilings in the secondary bedrooms. For the tray ceiling in this foyer, we have a pre wire for a chandelier as well as 13 foot ceilings. For a majority of your home, they are using a 12 by 24 ceramic towel. This is done in a stacked pattern. The wall texture for this home will be in a medium knockdown finish. We'll also have beveled corners and five and a quarter inch baseboards. Your door hardware will be in a brushed nickel. We'll also have eight foot interior doors. And this door leads to your coat closet, which has the hidden smart panel. We also have a pre-wired alarm system. This door will lead to your three-car garage. The three-car garage will measure 29 by 25. We also have two fluorescent lights. and a soft water loop and a Renai tankless water heater. There's a common misconception that tankless water heaters will give you instant hot water. That is not true and instead it will give you unlimited hot water. These are your irrigation controls. The garage doors are also insulated. This will be your one bay garage and you also have a two bay garage. And this is the opposite end of your parcel locker. You'll still need a key from this side to access your packages. And here we have your main water shut off, 
as well as your water pressure control, your 220 volt outlet. This is to charge an electric car. On the left is your primary suite, and on the right will be your main living area. This large space here is your great room. This great room measures 44.5 by 16.5. We also have 6 LED lights and 2 pre-wires for ceiling fans or chandeliers. We also have a flat screen TV pre-plum with a cable outlet as well as a HDMI outlet. And below that, we have a 72 inch Primo fireplace. This is a gas fireplace and it will produce heat. You can also select different colors depending on your mood. In this outlet, we have two CAT6 outlet and two cable outlets. The great room will also feature a 19 by 8 multi-sliding stacking door. And next to the great room, we have an office. This office measures 17 by 13 and a half. If you enclose this space off with a wall and a door, you technically have a bedroom. To qualify as a bedroom, you need a door, a window, as well as a closet. This office will have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan or a light, also a raised outlet here, and a CAT6 and a cable outlet. Here we have a storage room slash closet. Two windows that overlook the front of your home. And another CAT6 outlet on this wall. Next, we have the kitchen. Here's an Ecobee thermostat. The kitchen will measure 19 by 17 and a half. The kitchen will also have 12 foot ceilings. The kitchen island will have a waterfall edge as well as quartz countertop. This is a white quartz kind of top with gray veining. And there are also additional cabinets below that face toward your great room. Looks like I found some chocolate. This kitchen will also feature under cabinet LED lights. This kitchen will also have dovetail drawers and soft close hinges. They have also opted for upper stack cabinets, as well as a 48 inch refrigerator space. The kitchen appliances that come with this home will be Gen Air stainless steel kitchen appliances. This includes a microwave oven, a built-in oven, a dishwasher, a hood, as well as a 48-inch cooktop. And here we have your walk-in pantry. It has a fluorescent light as well as standard shelving.
The cabinets in this kitchen are 42 inch flat panel cabinets. Here we have a trash can pull out. The kitchen sink is a single bowl cast iron farmhouse apron front sink. The kitchen faucet is a Kohler spring pull down faucet. Here's the Jenner dishwasher. With a third rack for utensils. The second rack has wine stem holders. This kitchen will also feature a full height quartz backsplash. They are currently missing the cover for the hood. And this is the Gen Air Professional Hood. This is for your warming lights. And these do get very hot. Also included in your kitchen is a 48 inch Gen Air cooktop with 6 gas burners as well as a griddle. Next to the kitchen is your dining room. The dining room will measure 17 by 12 and will have two LED lights and a pre-wire for a chandelier. It also has a sliding glass door that leads to your covered patio. And before we head outside, let's check out the primary bedroom suite. which is right around the corner. Here's where your AC filters are located. The primary bedroom suite will feature engineered hardwood floors. There's also access to your attic here. The primary bedroom suite is very spacious and measures 21 by 17. It also has 4 LED lights as well as a pre-wire for a chandelier or ceiling fan. It also has a 12 foot tray ceiling. And you'll also have your own Ecobee thermostat. Three windows high above. And a window here that overlooks your covered patio. A raised outlet as well as a CAT6 and cable outlet. And this is a cool feature to have. We have a primary bedroom retreat. This space measures 18 by 8. The owner's retreat will feature two large windows, one on each side. These windows will overlook your side yard as well as your backyard. This is your primary bathroom. The flooring will change back over to the 12 by 24 tile. 
This is because engineered hardwood does not do good with water or any moisture. The primary bathroom will feature quartz countertops, on the on sinks, as well as widespread faucets and a brushed nickel. The vanities will be split. The opposite did not have mirror medicine cabinets. And we also have a spa shower, which goes from floor to ceiling. Here's a dry off area. We have a brushed nickel schluter. The tile texture has a linen feel. The dry off area will feature a hexagon tile flooring. And with that same linen tile here that goes in a vertical pattern all the way to the ceiling. Also a window that can open. And I do like that they also tiled around the window frame. Three eighth inch tempered glass. I'm surprised there's no rain shower head. This is an interesting choice for the tile surround. Your shower head and a soap niche. The shower pan is a hexagon tile. This home has very neutral colors. Your water closet. and your walk-in closet with the engineering hardwood floors. Standard shelving. This 19 foot sliding door is actually quite easy to open. It's not heavy at all. Great indoor outdoor living. Stepping into our covered patio, we have pavers below and the space measures 30 by nine. There's also two LED lights and a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. This backyard measures 36 foot in depth. Here's also a hose bib. And there's also a pre-wire for a security camera on the top right. Here's a barbecue gas stub and another security camera pre-wire up above. Check out this space here. We have a huge side yard. This side yard measures 96 foot deep and 50 foot wide. In your backyard you also have two AC units. And here we have a TX pest control system. There are so many possibilities with this backyard, or side yard I should say. If you enjoyed the video so far, please consider hitting that like button. Closing this door with one hand.
In this hallway is your doorbell chime as well as the AC filter. And the first door on your right is your powder room. It features a cooler toilet, quartz countertops on the mount sink, flat panel cabinets, and a cooler widespread faucet in a brushed nickel finish. To your left here is your laundry room. The laundry room will have base cabinets, a washer or dryer, and you also have a laundry sink. The laundry sink is a top mount. The laundry faucet is a single lever pull down faucet and a stainless steel finish. No upper cabinets. And we have fluorescent lights. Across from the powder room is a linen closet. In this hallway, we have a jump duck that connects to both of these bedrooms. This is bedroom 3. Both bedroom 3 and bedroom 2 will have engineered hardwood floors. Bedroom 3 measures 12 and a half by 12. Bedroom 3 will also have a pre-wire for a ceiling fan or a light, a raised outlet, as well as a CAT6 and cable outlet. Two windows that overlook your side yard. and a walk-in closet. This door will lead to bathroom 2, which I'll show you shortly. And this is bedroom 2. Bedroom 2 is slightly larger than bedroom 3. It measures 14 by 13. Here's where the jump ducts connect. Also a pre-wire for ceiling fan or light. A braze outlet for a TV, as well as a CAT6 and cable outlet. Bedroom 2 will have a walk-in closet. And this is bathroom 2. Bathroom 2 will serve as a Jack and Joe bathroom for bedrooms 2 and 3. Bathroom 2 will help double on the mount sinks, also widespread faucets and a brush nickel. and two LED lights. This is the door that leads to bedroom three. And this is another door to your toilet as well as your bathtub. The window here that overlooks the front of your home. The bathtub will have a full height tile in a horizontal pattern. These are 12 by 24 tiles. Cooler fixtures and a soap niche. This concludes my home tour of this quick move in home in the community of Casino Ranch by Tour Brothers in the southwest area of Las Vegas, Nevada. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or like my real estate assistance in buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, Please do not hesitate to give me a call, text, or email. Thank you guys for watching the very end. I'll see you in the next video.